I didn't know how exceptional her childhood was. I didn't know that she grew up around, you know, Duke Ellington and Ella Fitzgerald and Dinah Washington and all of these music, black musical geniuses. I didn't know that she lived down the street from, you know, um, the Supremes and that, you know, um, Smokey Robinson was her brother's best friend. I didn't know how she was surrounded by musical genius her whole life. And I didn't know about her siblings. I knew nothing about her siblings. And so what was so extraordinary to me was that in a, f a family that was surrounded by all of this, I mean, they all grew up in the same house. They were all around these um, incredible geniuses. What, what struck me is that how, how she was able to shine even above that. It is the joy of my life to be able to bring Aretha Franklin's story to screen. It's, um, it's nothing I take lightly. It's a great responsibility. And I think that one of the reasons why it's coming together is that everyone is, has been in this movie has been touched by Aretha in some way. And we want to honor her and um, respect her in the way that she um, honored and respected us in the way that she, you know, she, she touched all of us in different ways and we just want to, um, you know, give her her due, you know, and show the world this, this extraordinary singer is even more extraordinary than you think. Liesl, uh Tommy, my good friend and the director of this movie, has many extraordinary talents and I thought I knew her but I've gotten to know her even more during this film, and what she has and from the, is this uncompromising vision and uncompromising morals. Like, she is in this movie um, for Aretha Franklin. She wants to honor and, lo and, and, love, and loves Aretha Franklin, and that's what she does, and nothing deters her from that. She wanted a movie about her life. She wanted people to understand her life, and we have one shot at this, and we want to get it right. We want to, you know, I just feel like everyone is, there's, there's always been these, sort of these moments on set where it's, it's just, honestly, it's just felt electric. And it's just felt like, you know, we are just, we're not even doing this anymore. We're channeling something. And I just feel like there's just moments, like I said, you know, long days and long nights, but the crew is just, they want, to, they want this to be excellent. And they want it, I just feel like in the end, everyone is really doing this for Aretha.